first gator on the loose. We hunt down the story behind these flyers, drawing a lot of tension across town. Welcome back, new at five now. Hundreds of posters like this are all over Portland right now, warning residents about an alligator on the loose. So K2's Matt Johnson set out on a gator hunt, only to find who was really drawing all this attention. A reptile on the loose in Portland? Well, it wouldn't be the first time. So after seeing signs like this posted around town, we decided to look into it. Big teeth and sharp claws, this small black and white gator is making a big splash on social media. Hundreds of posters drawing concern in Portland. You never know what you're going to see in this town. Back in 2011, an alligator was caught in a Gresham pond. Okay. Today we contacted Rich Ritchie, known as the Reptile Man, who made that catch, and he tells us that he hasn't heard anything about a missing gator through the reptile grapevine. He also pointed out that there's no contact information on the post. Poster. But with a closer look, we found a signature on the bottom, belonging to a local graphic artist, John Polano. To be clear, you do not have an alligator that is missing. That's super clear, yeah, no, no alligator. Uh, I don't think it would survive out here. Polano tells me that he made three different posters, one about a free concert, another about a missing horse, and then the one getting all the attention. Well, there you have it, JP for hire, making these pictures and posting them around Portland, hoping to draw attention to himself and well, it worked because, after all, he's on the news. In Northwest Portland, Matt Johnson, K2 News. I guess it did work then, Matt. Thank you very much. So what is Polano's motivation for posting those signs? Matt asked him that very question. We'll share the answer coming up at 6 o'clock tonight. And next, a worrisome poster has some people wondering if there is really a reptile on the loose. Who's trying to draw your attention? Most of us are used to seeing flyers about a missing cat or dog, but some posters around town are warning locals about another type of animal. K2's Matt Johnson tracked down the man behind the missing gator. They're not your typical missing pet posters, and they're quickly making the rounds on social media. You never know what you're going to see in this town. Back in 2011, an alligator was actually caught in a Gresham pond. Come here, buddy. So could another gator be on the loose? We decided to hit the streets in northwest Portland where some of the flyers have been spotted. Have you seen this sign right here? It says missing alligator. I think it's a joke. So after an entire day of looking for signs, looking for clues that there might be an alligator roaming the streets of Portland, we find a different sign. This flyer talks about a free Tom Petty concert, but take a closer look. Doesn't it look familiar? We thought so too. And then we noticed the bottom of it, a signature belonging to a local illustrator, John Polano. To be clear, you do not have an alligator that is missing. That's super clear. Yeah, no. No alligator. Uh, I don't think it would survive out here. Polano tells me that he made three different posters. One about the free concert, another about a missing horse, and then the one getting all the attention, and in some cases, fun feedback. I saw this guy yesterday. He was like staring at the poster, like kind of like nervous, like, like it could be anywhere. Polano tells me that he posted nearly 200 fake flyers around Portland. But why? I wanted to do show flyers for bands, and no one really knows who I am, so I was like, well, I want to do something. So I just, one day, I, I was like, alligator, horse, free Tom Petty show. Perfect. And it looks like it worked. In Northwest Portland, Matt Johnson, K2 News. Safe to say it's a crock. Deb. That is not safe to say. <laughs> <laughs> I just said it. If you'd like to see more of Polano's work, we have posted a link to his site on our website, katu.com. Click on Hot Links.